Opposition MPs have rejected the 29 million shillings given to them by Parliament to consult on the lifting of the presidential term limits. The MPs who turned up at a press conference in Kampala with red bags laden with cash said they decided to return the money because it is morally wrong to accept it. The MPs include Ibrahim Semu Junganda, Mwanga Chivumbi, William Songu, Angelina Osege, Robina Sentongo, Anna Adeke, Betty Aol, and Moses Kasivanti appealed to their colleagues from both the NRM and the opposition to return the money, which they believe is meant to compromise them. The money is not no, enough. Yes. Yes. If you want, I can yes. count you and you'll see. Your, yes. your. So just pick a piece of paper, write and leave the money here. We don't go working with taxpayers' money. It's supposed to be doing You've some work. Segona, Adek and Semuju, who are members of the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, which is responsible for the parliamentary budget, said the money was not budgeted for in the 2017-2018 budget. The development comes less than 24 hours after Parliament announced it had credited accounts of more than 400 MPs to do countrywide consultations on the impending amendment to the Constitution to remove the presidential age limits. But the MPs said they could not be party to a move that seeks to certainly use consultations to bribe MPs and their constituents to change the country's constitution. On top of that, Banyonge Dekozino is a time of budget in Tula Kachiko Kamateka, Iraqi Ka Supervising Parliamentary Commission. Zino sent it to the Isanga. The budget is with the Zirim. Leader of Opposition in Parliament, Winnie Kiza, wondered if it was necessary for them to carry out any consultations because the police has not allowed opposition MPs to meet gatherings in their constituencies. Chris Obore, the Parliament's Director of Communication, said on Tuesday that 13 billion shillings had been released for MPs and that both MPs on the opposition and NRM sides would get the cash. He said the money was removed from the accounts of Parliament from the other votes such as salaries, but the Ministry of Finance would reimburse it in due course. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.